hello beautiful people and welcome to yet another diy so today i will be transforming this pillowcase which i have never used since i bought it i just got it because i really liked the color and the texture and the facts that and <laughs> and the fact that it was velvet and i transformed it into this wonderful piece a triangular bralette it can be styled like this or like this or even like this and lastly this and many other ways that you'd ever think of so if you'd like to watch me do this and get to know how you can also do this for yourself well keep watching so you're just going to go ahead and seam rip the pillowcase do not seam rip all the sides but of course if you're using a material you have to you can skip this step Next, I'm also going to seam rip the zipper so that I do not lose material. Like each and every piece of material matters as in as much as I know I'm small, I just was trying to take precautions. Once I was done seam ripping, uh, this is what I had. I just had one big piece of material. I left one seam untouched because I just wanted to work with one long fabric instead of pieces. So the next thing you're going to do is take your measurements, okay? Take your tape measure and measure from where your sleeve is likely to start up to your nipple, okay? Which is going to be your midpoint. Then you can take it from your nipple up to... And then for the width, you're just going to measure from one side of your rope to the end. End. and last we are going to measure the length of our you know waistband because we're not making a bra we are making a bralette and so yeah that length is really important and lastly you're going to take the measurement of your waist all around just to know how long your waistband is going to be so the next step is you're going to put all those measurements into paper just to make our pattern so i'm going to use a paper because I do not have the proper requirements. So these are the things I'm going to use. So the first measurement I'm going to note down is the measurement from where my sleeve is likely to start to my nipple. And then the next measurement was from your nipple to your under boob. You're also going to mark that on paper. Then you remember the length, or then you remember the measurement that you took of your boob from one side to the other you're also going to put it down and you want to ensure that the center is aligned with where your under boob mark reached just to give us a precise measurement remember this is a pattern so we are going to directly transfer it into a piece into our material okay and then you're going to mark the dots the next step is you're going to join all the three dots do not worry about the center piece um you do not really need to worry about that dot just focus on all the other dots apart from that one so once i was done joining the dots the next thing is drawing our curve remember around your boob there's a bit of curve unless you're flat chested so uh, you're supposed to use a curve ruler for this but since i do not own one i just decided to freehand it so the next thing is cutting off the shape so you're going to cut out the shape as it has turned out cut the sides and just take your time on it because you really need to be precise you're also going to cut at the center point because remember we are working with two different pieces as you can see one side is slightly smaller than the other because that is for our side from the outside and the other piece is from the inside okay yeah and once i was done cutting this is what i had now we're going to transfer our pattern. I just decided to fold mine into two because we do need two pieces. So I thought that instead of cutting one and then one again, let me just do it once and for all. So I took the first piece, put it on my material and cut it out. So once I was done, remember we are doing two pieces. You're just going to cut the piece into two. And that is our first bit. Now we're going to take the other piece. This is for our inner side, okay? And you're going to trace it again on your material. Do the same thing just as you did on the previous piece. Well, once I was done cutting both pieces, this is what we had. As you can see, I have two slightly smaller ones and 
two slightly bigger okay here i did have a bit of complication because i was confused but you'll just get it so you're just going to take one small piece and exchange it to the other and the other small piece to the other and then you're going to put them on top of the other okay i hope that explanation makes sense now you're just going to sew along the curve as i am demonstrating you're just going to go and sew along that line The next thing I did was I measured the length of my straps, how long I wanted them to be and I went ahead and cut them off. Of course I cut out two pieces of strap, I don't know if you will be going for one, your other boob will probably be out in the wind but do you boo, okay? Yeah so after that I'm just, so here I'm just demonstrating how I'm going to be attaching the sleeves okay so you'll just put it at the top and you're going to sew along that line the next thing i did was cut out my waistband remember the length you took all round that is the length that i'm currently measuring and i'm just going to cut it out so before i continued i ensured that i had the correct width of my waistband and that's what i'm doing and once i was sure that i had done it properly now i just went ahead and cut out the whole piece and once i was done cutting this is how it turned out that's a whole strip that is supposed to cover my waist once i was done cutting out all the pieces now we're going to attach them okay so you can choose to just have it as a v as a deep v but i wanted to overlap mine a little bit so that it's a bit decent i don't know whether bralettes can be decent but i was just trying to make it a bit decent for me so i'm just going to go ahead and sew along the lines as i am demonstrating i'll just sew it and once i was done this is how it turned out and my material was stretchy so i did not have to leave an allowance but in case yours is not then you'll have to either use a zip at the back you can use buttons it just depends with what you don't you can also use an elastic band anything that is going to work for you and yeah just like that we had our beautiful piece which i love so much i really hope you enjoyed this video you can leave a comment you can also like this video if you enjoyed it in case you're not yet subscribed to this channel please consider hitting the subscribe button down below and i will see you in my next video bye guys